I've got some dolly business for you today. So I'm going to start with my uh, long awaited, by me at least, doll's house. <laughs> I've actually got two rooms done. So first I've got this bedroom done using the furniture given to me by Karen. I printed the wall, the paper for the wallpaper from online. Um, the carpet was some spare carpet that we had left over. I found some little um, props to put in there like this um, Haru Miku, what do you call a mannequin? A little guitar there. She's got a little fluffy rug. The lamp and bedside table were made by Karen. The pictures I printed from Google. Two more pictures there. The lights are fairy lights that I got for a pound. There's Yasmin on her bed reading her book. She's got her phone at her side. She's got a little pussy cat on the end of the on the ottoman there, and there's a tray for when she wants to have a drink and a snack. She's got her teddy on the bed there with her. Really happy with that. The wardrobe in the corner there. It's come out lovely. I'm really pleased with it. And then above that, we have the bathroom. I've got DJ in her bath there. Her towel's there ready for when she gets out. Um, her sink unit, I did make the sink unit myself and I'm very proud of it because it's the first time I've made anything like that. So the sink was made out of a little um, blind box thing I got. It comes like two squares that fit together and that was one of the squares. The tap and the tap handle were made out of thick bendable wire. The mirror was some sticky back. I've actually got mirror all around the room. The mirror was some sticky back paper the wall is from a booklet a book of all different papers that I found well card actually I made a picture for the wall that side this the tiles were printed off I made a towel rail by using pieces of cardboard a piece of um, kebab skewer for the actual rail part the toilet was an old one that was broken and I uh, fix it by adding some foam board onto the back here and I painted it white with acrylic paint and then I painted over the top of that with Mod Podge. Uh, Rosie insisted we needed to have toilet paper so here's a little toilet paper holder with toilet paper on the side. I've got my little um, loo brush in here in the loo brush holder. Uh, so thank you to Karen for the tips on how to make the loo brush. It's actually made with a um, eesh, a pipe cleaner. The holder is just some cardboard covered in the same stuff as what is on the wall. So, so far, two rooms done. I hope you like those. These lights I love at the top here. They're, um, they were a pound as well in the sale. They're Christmas lights that are just taped to the ceiling. But they look so make the room look so warm when they're on, don't they? And they're battery operated, so they're easy enough to turn on and off when you want to use them. Yeah, so next thing I'm planning is a brat's bedroom in here. Uh, you can see I've still got a lot, of a lot of junk there. This is going to be the kitchen, this is going to be the lounge, or the other way around. And I'm going to have a nursery as well, so yeah. Next I have the flavour doll, who's, if you remember, her body was her neck was badly broken and it was so brittle that when I tried to fix it with um, Millie putty and glue and things like that it it just kept um, epoxy sculpt that's what I used it just kept cracking more and more so Karen sent me this fresh doll body this fresh doll which I already had the Lynette one I believe it's Lynette and it matches her colour perfectly. So I successfully, I was a bit worried I wouldn't be able to take the Fresh Doll's head off because they're a bit fiddly to get off, but I warmed it up really well with a hairdryer and it just popped right off, so that was good. Um, she's on a curvy body, so I've just popped her in that outfit for now, but I just wanted to show you that the head swap was successful. She looks great. She's still articulated. In fact, she's got more articulation now than she had before because she's got articulation at her knees, whereas before she had it in the chest and not at the knees. So that's her. Then my Blythe doll, I'm told, is a genuine Blythe doll. She's a factory Blythe doll, which I'm told she is made up of parts of real, you know, different parts. She's not one entire 
not all the pieces from one entire doll, the pieces are all from different dolls, um, because she is described as a factory Blythe doll, not an icy Blythe doll. Anyway, that's her, and I've bought her a new dress, so here's her dress. I actually ordered that at the same time as the doll and it's arrived today. So that's her in that. And I've also got her another outfit, which I'll pop her in to show you. So this is actually one of the Sparkle Girl outfits, which I paid £3 for two outfits. So it was one fifty. this little outfit was, and it fits her really well. Look at that, it really does fit her a treat. And I think that looks quite cute on her as well. For £1.50, I'm quite pleased with that. And then also from... This little blue dress was 3 50 from AliExpress and also I got all these little dungarees which I'll pop her in the dungarees now and show you. Okay, here she is in the little dungarees that I got her. I've just popped a plain white t-shirt on underneath there. And these little um, shoes are a bit big for her but they're okay. I think they suit her. They look cute with that outfit, don't they? Those shoes I've had for a long time and I got them from Wish. They were about £1.50. The trousers, I think, were around £3. I can't remember. Um, yeah, something like that, but they weren't that expensive. They were from AliExpress and they actually came before the doll did. But yeah, that's her outfits anyway. That's her. Next, I have two parcels to open. I've got this one and I've got this one. This one's quite heavy, so I'm hoping there's a, a, parcel, a bundle of dolls in that one. Let's open this one first. And she is, here we go. She is another Anastasia, <laughs> but she's got bend and snap knees and articulated arms because she's the ice skating one. She's, I think this is her outfit. I believe it's her outfit. Something missing from her head there because she's got a piece of um, cotton there but nothing holding it on. So there she is. She's got her skates on. I'm a bit odd those skates. They're not on properly. I don't know whether they're actually not her skates or what but yeah, they're not going on her feet very well are they? Maybe they're not actually her skates, I don't know, because her foot don't fit in them, does it? Not in either side, so perhaps they're not her skates, I don't know. Anyway, this is how she came to me. She's got these skates on, which I'm not sure whether these are even her skates, because I, I can't seem to get her foot in, and I don't, the last thing I want to do is break her foot. So She's got on glittery tights with um, pants built into her leotard stroke tutu. She's got this white and silver trimming on the sleeve and she's got longer hair than some of the Anastasias I've seen before. So that's her. Really pleased with her. She was around £5 plus postage, which I thought was a brilliant price to pay for her. Really happy with her. So now let's see what's in the parcel. Monty's taking offence at me ripping a bag. I've no idea why, <laughs> but he has. Here we go. Oh, lots of heads in there. That's what I like to see. Oh, yes. Brilliant. Really happy with this. So we have got. in here we've got two of the little angels look how cute they are look and look at them dressed in their little outfits look this one's got a little wings on even oh how cute is she look oh she's adorable you're adorable look at that little yasmin then we've got megan look at megan they're adorable i love these little brats tiny babies they're called little angels <laughs> she's so cute then we've got one of the boys, not entirely sure, I think he's rock eaten possibly. I'll need to look him up. He's, he's got a hop because he's only got one shoe. Yep, they smell really strong of hairspray. Yeah, smell of hairspray. 
which is better than some things they could smell of, let's face it. Then this girl, I think she might be Rock Chloe. Her hair is all really well um, hair sprayed up, that's where the smell's coming from, and she's wearing a human bobble. Yeah, she's got, I love her dress there, that dress is gorgeous, and I think that is the Rock Chloe's dress. Then we've got ice skating clothes. Ice Champions dolls, when you bend them like that, they click. She's not Ice Champion, she's just Ice Skating Chloe and she's got on her shimmery white boots there, shimmery white skates. She, that is her original outfit actually, which is really good. Then we've got, I think this is World Room Yasmin. She's got the, the correct feet and outfit for that doll, but look at this hair, oh my goodness. That's going to take some doing, isn't it? But she does have her original earrings in, which is brilliant. She's really nice, really happy with this bundle. I paid £32 posted for these dolls, but there are, what are there? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 dolls. So well worth the money, and you'll see why in a minute. Then we've got, I believe she's Step Out Yasmin. She's even still got her ring on. One of my favourite screenings, that is. I love her. Look at her face. She's gorgeous. A sleepover or world house, Chloe. One of the two. I think she might be the world house or world room, Chloe. She's got that outfit on, I believe. That is her original outfit. She's got her earrings. Again, the hair, but that's nothing that can't be easily rectified. They just need a bit of a clean up, these dolls do. Really happy with them. Then... This girl, she's something like Strutit Fiana, 2011 Strutit Fiana, something like that. Uh, she's still got the secret code on the back of her there. I think she's 2011, like Strutit or something like that. Gorgeous. Look at her hair. Her hair's not too bad at all. Yeah, she's good. Pleased that she's got her earrings as well and her full outfit and shoes. I do believe I've got her, but not with her full outfit and shoes. So really happy about that. Then this girl I didn't have. She is Sasha. I believe she's the 2009, and it's just called on the website, it's just called the latest collection. So she's from, she's a 2009 Sasha in this silver dress and silver shoes absolutely love her and I didn't have her in my collection so really happy to get her then this jade I do have this jade already in my collection but my one is in box so I'll be able to get this one some shoes and sort her out she is 2010 basic jade but I do have her in box so I'll be able to clean her up and have her on display now instead of having her in box won't I then the reason I ordered the bundle was for this girl absolutely delighted to get her icons jade um icons were never bought out in the UK so you can't you know it, it they're very rare in the UK in my experience I've had no luck getting any uh, she's only got one shoe on and she's only got one earring but I don't care I'm so delighted to have her She's got her outfit on, her hair's still in its original style. She's in fantastic condition. She just needs some new earrings and another shoe. Yeah, I can sort her out with some earrings and shoes. So really happy, really, really happy. So that was my dolly business for today. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.